Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. Hello, my name is Roxanne, also known as Bai Bun, and I'm a mixed media artist, maker, illustrator. Uh, I messed up my little title there, but it's fine. <laughs> I normally say mixed media artist, illustrator, and maker of things is what I usually like to say as my little title, but hello. Uh, welcome back if you are subscribed. Thank you for staying subscribed. Today's just gonna be a chatty, chill kind of video and something that is also way long overdue, and that is opening up P.O. Box mail. Uh, you guys very kindly send me things. I know a lot of my patrons also send me stuff. Uh, to my P.O. Box. Sometimes you send me ephemera, some of your own art, stickers, things that just like, you're like, this made me think of Bun, I wanna send it to her. I know also we have a big um, original piece of artwork that I'm very excited to open up that I have been saving to open on camera. And this is the video where it's going to have its moment. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna save that for the end here. Um, but I have a lot of envelopes and things that I've saved for the past couple of months. And I've just been putting them in a little box to open up on camera and I kind of wanted to do it either in a, I debated, I was like, do I do this in a vlog? Do I do this in something else? But I just decided, you know what? Let's do this as its own video. I think it'll be really fun to just like sit, hang out with me, grab a cup of coffee. I'm probably gonna grab some coffee or some tea in a little bit here, but I just wanted to get this intro underway um, and just go through some mail. There might be some fun little things in here. It's, you know, I, it will just be a fun chatty time, okay? So grab a little drink have a sit down, pull out your journal, do something, whatever, have me on in the background as we open up all this fun uh, mail that got sent to my PO box. Um, a few fine print things you'll notice is that I did cover up over addresses. Um, I have a bunch of this orange duct tape that I had uh, for a costume that I did for New Year's Eve. Um, it was a fifth element Lilu uh, costume that I did. Uh, and I have all these like extra rolls of orange tape. So I just figured this would be a great way to utilize some of this tape uh, and not let it go to waste. So that's why there's orange duct tape on everything. Cause sometimes covering up addresses with a Sharpie is a real pain in the butt and it doesn't always work. So when, when in doubt, orange duct tape, I guess. The other thing obviously is that this is just gonna be me opening up mail and whatnot. If you're not interested in this sort of content, uh, just move right on along and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Uh, if you don't like this sort of content, you don't have to watch it, okay? Anything else? Oh yes, and then obviously a lot of people like to get my P.O. Box address uh, to send me something. You can go ahead and just DM me on Instagram at bybun uh, if you'd like to get your paws on my P.O. Box address. I've removed it from all of my videos because it just, I don't know, I just didn't want it out there publicly and I just couldn't keep up with the amount of stuff that I was getting. So if there's something that you really, really wanna send me, uh, send me a DM on Instagram. That's the best way to get hold of me and I can share it with you there. I believe that's it. Oh yes, okay, one other small fine print thing is sometimes people send me very personal things or personal letters. I'm going to edit a lot of that out. So if there are any quick like jump cuts or weird cuts in this video, it's because I've stumbled into something that I think maybe might be too personal to share in a video or to put out on YouTube. So just be aware of that if there's some weird cuts or inconsistencies in the video. It's just because I've made that decision to keep it off camera. Okay, I think that about does it. Let's go ahead and get into this big old pile. Some of this stuff I've had for literally months. So I think there's even like, there's Christmas stuff in here. There might be Halloween stuff in here. Uh, I'm excited to do all of the things here. Maybe I'll just organize everything from smallest to largest. That could be kind of fun maybe. And I also love cutting up um, the stamps and stuff, like saving all these little bits because they're just so fun. So you'll definitely get to see me kind of do that in this video as well. Um, chop up all of the little bits and save it for ephemera, or I put it into my planner journal. That's a lot of fun. Maybe I'll even have, hmm, I was wondering if I should have my planner journal like to the side of me and maybe just put stuff in as I go. But you know what? I'm doing a really good job this year of filling my planner journal daily, like page to page. So I actually don't have enough free space. That's fine. You know what I'll do? I'll get one of my little storage boxes and we'll put ephemera, like fun planner journal, junk journal, ephemera stuff into that. And then I usually end up making a separate pile that's ephemera for like art journaling. So we'll organize things as we go along here. I'm gonna move this big beauty off to the side as well as the these other big packages. These other bigger sort of envelopes we'll put over to the side as well. So we'll start with all these little guys and then um, see what's inside. 
All right, here we go. I can already tell this is probably gonna be a very long and chatty video. Oh my God, look at how cute this washi tape is. <gasps> Stop. That is adorable. Okay, I'm gonna have to have my, my planner journal out here to put stuff in. Blarg. Okay, we'll just do this as we go. This is so cute. Must save all of the things. Oh my God, where is this from? Whoever sent me this, you must tell me where this snail washi tape is from. That is so cute. We're gonna have to cut off that uh, stamp as well. Stamps are great for mini journals. If you're ever like, what do I do with all these stamps that I cut up or whatever? Mini journals are a great place for that. Oh yes, okay, this is from Erin Jordan. Um, hello, Erin. Thank you for sending me some happy mail. Let me chop this little guy off here. We'll keep a little ephemera pile ah! off to the side. I'm also just going to have like a trash pile on the ground here as we go. Okay. Oh, this is a mini zine from Erin Jordan, who I'm assuming she probably, I probably should read the letter first. Oh, these are cool. Oh my God, look at that. Oh, that is so fun. I love the frog smoking a pipe. That is really cool. So I'm not gonna read the personal note that she included on camera, but she did um, create this little zine as part of some of her graduate work, which I think is really cool. Um, she studies so sociocultural anthropology, which is just amazing. Um, and so this was one of her ways that she kind of communicated something that she was studying, which is just absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love that. Um, this is also from um, my mixed media mini zines class um, where I kind of show you different techniques of how to create a zine and tell your story and put it all together. Oh, I love the colors in this in the background. That's really beautiful. I want to take time to actually like sit and properly read this um, along with the letter that she sent. So Erin, um, thank you so much for the stickers and really cool zine. Um, I have a little book now where I'm starting to save um, zines that people are sending me from the zine class, which is a lot of fun. Um, thank you, Erin, for the happy mail. Okay, moving right along. I'm trying to keep my pace up here because I don't... <laughs> Future me is not gonna like all the amount of editing that I will have to do for this. Um, okay, I definitely want to keep this stamp. Oh, I think it's another zine. Um, in my zine class, we have a Discord that is just for students in the mini, mini zine class. And we have a zine swap section of the class, of the Discord um, where you can, um, that's a fun little stamp, where you can share your address and swap zines with each other. So I know a lot of people, this is probably, this is older mail. Um, a lot of people have uh, swapped zines with one another. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh, this is from Leanne. Okay, so this is from Leanne Schaller. There's her website. I wanna give a little flip of this. Oh, it's so fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is about her moving. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow, I even just love the back, how everything's really like collaged together. That's really cool. It's so fun to have other people's zines from the class like in my hands. It's really, really neat. Okay, I need to, I'm, ma I'm making a pile of things off camera here, over here of like ephemera and zines. Um, this is another one from Leanne. And it's cool too that I've seen pictures of these in our Discord for the class, but to actually like have it in my hands um, is really neat. It's amazing how powerful your story can be just from collage. It's really, really cool. Wow, love that. Thank you again, Leanne, for the happy mail and sending me some copies of your mini zines. Thank you. All right, next up. Oh, look at this envelope. Ugh, I feel like I had, I'm tarnishing it with my orange um, tape. This is beautiful. Okay, I need to very carefully open this because there is a lot that I want to save on this envelope because I just think this is really cool. Ooh, 
of course, what I pulled right out was an address. I'm gonna have to be very careful. Look at this handmade envelope. This is amazing. This is so cool. Okay, I'm definitely saving this for ephemera. Add this to the ephemera pile. Okay, I have to be careful with this because there's an address on the back of it. So let me see if I can take this part off maybe. <gasps> Look at this little paper. <gasps> I love this. Oh my God, that's so cute. Okay, it looks like there's a folded letter on the inside and then we have another zine. This is becoming like zine mail, how exciting. Um, okay, forgive me for if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly, but this is who has created the zine and sent it to me. Is it San? San? Sane? Oh gosh, I don't know how to pronounce this. Whoa, I'm really excited to give this a little flip. Hold on. I know I should probably read the letter first, but I'm too excited. Oh, I remember seeing this online. Look at the eyeballs. That's amazing. Wow. Wow, that's really cool. Oh my gosh. Sunny, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. Beautiful zine. I'm absolutely loving this. The artwork in this is so cool. From the eyeballs to this like melting skull jawbone thing happening here. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me open up this. I think there is a letter on the inside. Okay, I'm going to read the letter off camera, but I'm very, very excited to, again, take some time to like soak this in. Um, look at, I've got like a little zine stash happening over here. How cool is that? Oh my God. I feel just like honored that you guys send me copies of your zines that you make in class. That's really, really cool. Um, and I'm loving this paper as well. So I'm going to read the rest of this off camera. Uh, but thank you, Sane. Oh my gosh, I'm really hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, but thank you so much for sending me some happy mail um, and a copy of your beautiful zine. Thank you. Okay, continuing on. Ooh. Oh, this is so cute, these little fangs. I have to cut all these out. This is super, super cute. Oh, zines. Okay, this is from Anna Teresa, who made these amazing zines. One of them is the Lost Boy, Lost Boy zine. Um, so I definitely, I'm saving this little scrap because it's so cute. I'm definitely excited about this. What a zine haul in this. I did not realize how many zines we were going to have in this here. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so this is um, Anna Teresa's Lost Boy zine and Pretty in Pink zine. I do think I might have peeked this open already. I think, I don't remember. I feel like I showed this on camera at some point. Maybe it was in a Patreon blog. I can't remember. Absolutely amazing. Here is um, her Instagram. Um, but let me do a quick flip of the Lost Boy zine because this is my favorite. Ah! And it's got the theme song lyrics in it. Uh, it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of The Lost Boys. It's one of my favorite movies. Hence the Lost Boys paraphernalia all over my studio. Oh, I love the Edgar Frog quote too. It's so good. Oh, I love the colors on the back. So fun. So fun. Oh my gosh. Thank you for sending me some of these. Um, adding to my zine collection here absolutely love it okay next up we've got some fun stamps here this is from deb uh i do want to cut this stuff off of this so this is looking really cool whoa look at the washi tape on the back oh how fun is that wow i love when you guys make your own envelopes and stuff it's so fun i definitely want to save some of this on the back i'm gonna very carefully open this up Ooh, we've got a fun little bundle of things in here. Let's see. I might have to cut more into this. I don't want to, but. Because it's pretty snug. It's pretty snug in here. Literally. Oh, I love the washi tape on the back. This is so cute. I'm definitely saving that. And these little stamps in the front saving all of the things. This is great, like junk journal stuff. Which my junk journal is basically my planner journal that I have here in front of me. 
but I have a little box where I pull things like this and kind of add and fill in pages. So we'll put that over there. And then I love this washi tape on the back too. This is really fun. Let's get a piece of this. Just while I'm here, we'll get a little chunk. You guys really know all of the fun, spooky stuff that I love here. There we go. So I have a lot of fun. Other, so there I have another fun little chunk. Could be like a little tip-in or something. Cool. Okay, let's see what's inside now that I've demolished the envelope. Ooh, fun. Okay, ooh, we've got more zines and goodies inside. <gasps> Okay, let me first um, take this apart a little bit here. And I do want to read the note from Deb because it looks like we've got three different zines on the inside, including her Frida zine, oh, which I love. We got some fun little bits here, strange oddities. I love this giant skull that is so fun. Uh, part of me, I thought about this a couple years ago about creating just like a spooky junk journal, like a Halloween junk journal. Um, cause I'm enjoying my Disney one so much that maybe, maybe the time has come that I do need to actually just make my Halloween junk journal. It might be time. It might be time. Okay. Let me very delicately take this apart and make sure there's nothing private on the note. Saving the washi tape scraps here. Literally save everything. So thank you, Deb, for the really sweet note. I super appreciate it. I'm going to be saving this. Uh, and then let's take a little sneaky peek at some of her zines that are just really cool. Uh, again, I have seen these online because they were in our Discord uh, for the class. But it's, it's just so different when you actually get to see them in person. And I'm going to flip the Frida zine because this was the one I was most excited about when I saw it online. So let's take a little sneaky peek. But there's three. We've got like a little witchy one. And we have this one as well. Oh, so cool. Okay, let's just do a little flip of this. I love the cover. Oh, how fun. This is a really great theme idea for a zine. Oh my God, this is awesome. Gosh, I just like want to frame this. Like this alone is so cool. I love the little hand. Oh, and the paint. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Oh my gosh. Deb, that is very, very cool. Thank you so much for sending me a really nice card and some copies of your zines from the class. Absolutely love it. Um, and these little spooky goodies that are making me want to start a spooky junk journal, a Halloween junk journal. I don't know, I'm thinking about it. What do you guys think? That's something I could do on YouTube too because my Disney junk journal, it has to live on Patreon because I have personal pictures and stuff. But if I did a Halloween one, that could live on YouTube. Let's add some of this polka dot washi tape somewhere because this is really cute. Maybe back here on my Etsy shop to-do list page. That could be kind of fun. Um, by the way, you might hear noise and whatnot um, that is James is hanging out outside of my studio. So I think he's in the kitchen making cookies. So if you hear kitchen noises um, or timers going off, that is um, James baking cookies. He's going to a Super Bowl party. So uh, he wanted to have something to bring with him. Okay, fun. We've reused some washi tape. Okay, moving right along. This looks very familiar. I have received happy mail from this person before. This is from Corey. She always does these amazing envelopes that she makes and then decorates them. And then her lettering is always so fantastic. So I definitely want to cut out some of the lettering and this really cool stamp that's on the outside. I love this. It actually has some really cool texture to it um, and a really fun uh, little stamps as well. Yeah. I recognized, I recognized this from Corey right away. She makes these really cool cards. And again, the, even just the envelopes and her handwriting is always so fun. What is this? Oh, I need, let me just cut this. I don't want to be, I want to be careful with the card. How cute is this paper? 
Oh, this was a birthday card. This Okay, so this is from October. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said some of the mail was really old. How cute is that? Oh my God, that's adorable. Oh, thanks, Corey. That's so sweet. Adorable. Oh, I love the little, the little bits in there. So cute. Oh, I love the envelope. Okay, let's, let's cut into this and pick apart what we're going to save here. I also just love the polka dots. My goodness. Uh, getting happy mail from her is always such a joy. So thank you, Corey, for the really sweet birthday card. Sorry I'm opening it like months later. Um, your your happy mail always, always puts a smile on my face. Your cards are always really well done and just so fun to receive. So thank you. Okay, I definitely want to save this gal because she just looks really cool. See, like, wouldn't she be fun in, like, a spooky junk journal? <gasps> Is this going to be a thing? This might be a thing, guys. This might be a thing. I, I almost started one, or maybe I did start one, but I think I started it in, like, a traveler's notebook many years ago. Uh, my patrons can confirm that for me because that was something that I was going to do there. Um... But wow, now I'm really, I'm really thinking about it. Okay, we got some fun little stamps. We'll add that to the stamp pile. Um, and of course the really sweet little birthday card. So thank you again, Corey, I appreciate it. Okay, next up we have an international envelope. Ah, this is from Marcy. Uh, Marcy, I'm a big fan of her artwork. Um, she's got a really cool illustration style. Hopefully I'm not hacking. Did I order this? No. I have, it's hard because I have bought things from Marcy before. She just has a really fun illustration style that I love. I have a number of her, um, I have a number of her pieces of artwork around my studio, actually. Oh, fun. Oh, it's her, her ghost zine. Oh, and she sent me some extras. You guys might have also seen Marcy's art. Um, I think it was this last fall. She was one of the featured artists in Sticky Club. Uh, so you might have seen her there. Oh my God, how fun. I don't think I have this one. It got a little crunched, but it's okay. We'll smooth it out. It'll be fine. Her magician card. Do I have this one? Which one do I have? No, I have the devil. I bought the devil print from her because I just really loved it. Oh, so cool. Thank you, Marcy. I'm glad you enjoyed the class. I can't wait to see your zine. I just see, I'm just obsessed with her artwork. It's so good. Oh, I love it. It's like spooky, but like joyful. This is a really cool sticker. Oh, I love this. And then here's her zine, Types of Ghosts. Oh, you know, I love this. Optimistic, look at this one painting the house. Stop, that's amazing. Oh, I love the little, the little coffins in the background. Poltergeist. The cat knocking stuff over actually a person halloween spirit oh that's so cute there is where you can find marcy and follow her i just love her her style it's just so so fun this is definitely going up in the studio i'm actually hanging stuff up in my studio today so perfect timing on me opening this up um and a lovely little zine as well thank you so much marcy you know i'm a big fan of your work you guys look at this zine pile this is getting legit. How fun is this? Wow. I did not mean for this to become an ad for my zine class. I really did not. I just didn't realize. Um, okay, next up, this handwriting. Oh, okay. Literally was like, this handwriting looks familiar. Uh, another card from Corey. Something tells me this is a holiday card that I neglected. Can I save this washi tape? Because it is cute. Can we do it? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, yes, we can. Oh, yes, we Canada. Okay, let's find a little December spot to plop this in. Do I have like a, we'll stick it in here. This is when I started. Um, and this is this year's Hobonichi, obviously. So the December calendar is a little barren. But this is for December 2022, so that's why it's empty. Trust me when I say my other ones are very uh, jam-packed full of stuff. 
Okay. I am gonna guess that this is probably a handmade holiday card. This is very sealed uh, from Corey here. Oh, little Rudolph is cute too. These are actually like little Christmas stamps. We should just put this right into that December spread as well. We'll just glue that right in in a second. I know you guys love watching me massacre uh, envelopes, right? And I do wanna save this too. Okay, we're gonna save this too. I just love her handwriting and the little stickers. It's so cute. Here we go. Cute. I am slowly getting a giant trash pile on the floor behind me. Oh, it's a New Year's card. Oh, fun. All oh, these letters are these uh these numbers are so cool. Wow. Oh, is there a lotto ticket in there? A scratcher? Oh my gosh, how fun. Uh, P.S. Good luck. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, here's how you can find her, by the way. Adorable. <gasps> that's so fun. Okay, we'll have to give this a little scratcheroo. Is there expiration dates on these? I hope not. I'm gonna give it a go. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Thank you, Corey, for yet another masterpiece here um of cards thank you so much look at that oh, they're so legit they are so legit it's amazing thank you so much um okay let's also let's put this back in december too just for fun why not why not just get a little little glue stick action and stick it on there. Hopefully you guys are doing something along with me here. Or maybe you're just watching me make a mess and unbox unenvelope mail. That's okay too. But maybe you're hanging out and doing something along with me. I'm definitely going to scratch this, but I'm just going to stick it in here for right now. And I will come back to that. Um, in current time at the <laughs> off camera. Okay, next up we have something from Leah. That is where you can find her. As I whack my camera. Oh, this is beautiful calligraphy. I'm sorry I had to cover over it with my um, orange duct tape there. Can we save the washi tape? Because this is really pretty. Yes, we can. We'll stick that onto something. Let's go ahead and open this up. What do we got? Ooh. Oh, it's another scene. <laughs> you guys, I swear, I did not realize that this was the same. This was like the mail was everyone's zines. I did not realize this. Oh, this is cool. Oh, that's very cool. Love that. Oh, this is all just making me want to do like a Halloween journal because this would be a perfect like little tip in for it. Oh, I love that. And then we have uh, Leah Zine, which is TV Witches. Uh, amazing. We have Samantha, Morticia Adams. Ah, oh, Charmed. Got it. Sabrina. Wait, why do I not know who this is? What's who's this from? I don't know what show this is. I love the candles though. That's very cool. Fun. Oh, I love that. That's really cool. I'm excited to add this to my little collection. Thank you, Leah, for the happy mail and a copy of your zine. Okay, let's find a place for that pretty washi tape as well, because I am here for it. I'm here for it. We can add a little chunk in here on my Etsy shop to-do list. And then maybe, oh, how about a little piece here? And maybe, let's see. And maybe a little piece back here. Look, more orange duct tape. <laughs> okay, cool. 
Yay, okay. So now we have kind of the larger packages left here. Let's go ahead and open up this one, which I love that it's done in a recycled sticky envelope. That is amazing. Do we think it's gonna be more zines? We shall see. Ooh, it's ephemera. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. There's nothing more exciting than getting ephemera from somebody else because it's always so interesting to see what other people pick. Oh, fun. Hi, Button. Thanks for sharing your, your art. Here's some trash for you. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Thank you so much. I'm not entirely sure who sent this to me. I think I do, but I, I'm not entirely sure. If you sent this to me, um, please let me know in the comments. I love this. Thank you so much. Let's snoop. I see Disney stuff right on the top, which I'm loving. Support your local dumpster. <laughs> That's great. Okay, we've got stuff for the Disney Junk Journal. Yes. I'm here for it. Send me your Disney trash, people. Cute. Oh, we've got a, a, a recipe in here. There we go. I got really confused with its head turned upside down. Cute. Okay, I do have a separate Disney pile going. So we'll put that over there. Ooh, fun. I love, I just love this note. This might need to go right right into my planner journal as well somewhere in here like current time because that is really fun i got some cool just ephemera i love just neutral sheets like this are always so great i love these like stickers these are cool oh medical arts maybe they're med oh are they like um file folder labels fun this is a great pile of trash. Ooh, fun. Look at this washi tape. Oh, that's super cool. And this is very smart to put this on a playing card. Very, very smart. Oh, I love the neon. And these like hyena sheep things. Maybe they're dogs. I don't know. Very cool. Awesome. I'm just going through it quickly to make sure there's no other like Disney stuff that needs to get pulled out. I love whenever there's like actual handwriting on stuff. It just makes it so interesting. Ooh, cute. That's cute. That can go into its own little pile. This is all gonna go right into my ephemera bin. Fresh stuff. That's cool. Wow. Oh, cute. Oh, see, this would be perfect for a junk journal. Maybe I call it my monster journal, my monster junk journal. Ooh, more Disney junk journal stuff. I am here for it. That's cool. Love that. Love that. Oh, fun. This is a great haul of stuff. Thank you so much for whoever sent me this. I am here for the trash. Thank you so much. Okay, moving right along. This is a package from Jen. I already know this because I saw her name on it. So Jen, here we go. I'm going to move things to the bottom of the package so that hopefully I don't cut into it. And let's take a look at what Jen sent. Jen is always, she's so sweet. She always sends me really fun stuff. We are both into the same kind of things. She always has really great taste in ephemera. Um, we are mixed media homies to say the least. Oh, I love this banana washi tape. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. Oh. Oh my God, look at the little flowers. Oh my God, that's so cute. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is from Alan and Jen. I guess she bought this card. It was handmade at a farmer's market. I don't want to show the rest of the, the letter inside, but thank you so much, Jen. This is so sweet. And I got I got to pull off this washi tape too. It's so cute. But I guess she saw some pins that made her think of me and she sent them along. So they are some pins. Let's see. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. It's a little bunny kissing a bat. Stop. Okay, here's the artist. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Hold on. Let me take this pin off this backing to really give it its justice here. Oh my gosh, Sarah Richard Art. I need to follow this artist because this is adorable. <gasps> Look at this pin. Oh my God, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Oh my God. This pin, I feel like this was made for me. This is amazing. <gasps> Jen, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. I need to follow this artist immediately. I also really love this tissue paper. It's got little like glitter chunks in it. We're definitely saving that. Let's see what this one is. Oh, we got it. We got a Disney. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to cry. This is so cute. This is so cute. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I do collect Disney pins. I'm new to the Disney pin scene. Um, and I just get pins that I just like, and then I trade them at the parks. It's like a very chill experience, but how cute is this? Oh, that is so sweet. Oh. Jen, you're so sweet. Thank you for always thinking of me um, with stuff like this. This is so, so cute. Oh, love this. Both of these pins are going like right in the little pin board, like in front of my face on my desk. That is so stinking cute. Have to save all the things. And then we have another little one. What's this one? Oh, Halloween forever. Yes. Ugh. Love this. This is also from Sarah Richards, the same artist. Sarah Richard Art. I'm going to need to follow her. So cute. Oh my gosh, what a fun little package. Thank you so much, Jen. That was really thoughtful of you. Uh, Jen and Ellen, you, you two are some of my favorite people that I've met on the internet. So thank you so much. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay, last and certainly not least, we have this big package from Megan that I know, I know what's in here because she tagged me on Instagram and it's something that she had been working on for a very long time, but I told her I didn't want to open it um, until I was filming it. Oh, how fun is this? This is her artwork. And she has stickers of these in her Etsy shop as well. Aren't they fun? Oh man, snails are just so cool. Um, but she tagged me in this online and I told her, I was like, I'm not going to open it until I'm filming it and can give it a proper unboxing on camera because this is really, really special. Like this is a very special thing that she's been working on for a really long time. Um, and I feel truly, truly honored and blessed to have received this. And I'm going to try my best not to cry on camera. I'm hoping that I won't because I've, I already know what it is. Um, and I can just reveal it without getting too dramatic here. Um, how, what is the best way to remove this? What is the best way to go about doing this? Let's see. Well, one thing I can say, if you commission artwork from Megan, it will survive an atomic bomb when it gets mailed to you because it's so well packaged. So props to you, Megan, your packaging is incredible. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is incredible. This is incredible. Oh, oh my God. Um, okay, so if you've been around here for a while, you might recognize these guys. This is my pug, um, Olive, aka Jeebs, 
And this is my pug Lurch, who I actually lost, um, was it last summer? Two summers ago, Lurch went over the Rainbow Bridge. He was a really sweet boy. Had a lot of health problems at the end, but he was such a sweet pug. Um, and the two of them kind of became known on the internet um, as my pugs in the pug cam when I would live stream on Twitch. Uh, you would see these two guys in my pug cam. Oh my God, that is just incredible. This is all done with colored pencil. The detail, like, holy hell, the detail in the fur, it looks like a photograph. The eyeballs, I can't wait to show James this. He is going to die. This is amazing. Wow. Oh my God, Megan, this is unbelievable. Thank you so, so much for this. This is such a special, I'm trying not to cry. Uh, this is really, really special. And I really, really appreciate this like so much. Um, I'm definitely going to frame it and get it up in my studio somewhere because this is just so sweet and so incredible. Actually, this deserves just to be somewhere in my house. Honestly, we have other portraits of the pugs. This might need to be framed um, along with the other the other portraits. It's just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for sharing your creative gift with me. This just means so much. Oh, I'm just like blown away by that. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Let me just open up the envelope too, just to make sure, because it does feel like there's other goodies inside here as well. Oh, it's just amazing. I'm also saving this packing tape because this packing tape is too good not to save. Too good not to save. Oh my gosh, is this a handmade card too? Oh my God, look at the card. Okay, personal note, I'm gonna keep that off camera. Okay, I'm gonna show you her, I'm assuming that this is okay. Her phone number is on this business card, but I'm assuming it's okay because this is what she probably puts in her Etsy shop orders. I'll cover it up just to be sure. Um, but there is her Instagram. It's pink underscore dogwood underscore studio give her a follow. Um, her colored pencil work and commissions are absolutely incredible. Um, pink dogwood studio is who you want to follow for that really fun stickers. Um, just an amazing and very talented artist as well. So, um, thank you so much, Megan words, words could not express how grateful I am for the artwork that you sent. Um, just that I know the amount of time and work that you put into that and just know that it is um it is so 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 well loved and appreciated and will be in my home for many many years moving forward thank you so so much look at mr lurchy's face over here oh my god i just can't it's amazing i did just show james this off camera and he was like oh my god that is incredible we need to frame this immediately. So we've already picked out a spot in our living room where we're hanging it up. It's just incredible. Um, but anywho, thank you so much for joining me along for today's uh, happy mail haul, happy mail unboxing. I just always try to hold on to things and open them on camera because I feel like it's the best way for me to say thank you and show my appreciation every time you guys send me something in the mail. It just makes me so happy. It brings me so much joy opening up little surprises like this. I just absolutely love it. Um, especially seeing some zines that were made directly out of my zine class was just a real, a real treat. So thank you so much to everyone who sent me something. Of course, if you sent me artwork uh, or stickers or whatever, um, please do not be shy in the comment section to tell us where to find you, your Instagram. Of course, if you have a YouTube channel, be sure to comment down below, tell us where to find you. Um, that would be a great help to me and obviously everyone else here who watches and want to see where to get more of your amazing art and creativity. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to make this into a series just as a way to, again, share what I get. And Dante is making terrible sounds over here. Dante, what are you doing? Okay, the moaning sounds were coming from Dante. Sorry about it. I do think this would be a really fun series on the channel, just kind of casually opening up things together. Um, you know, just a nice chatty kind of hangout video. Um, it's also just fun to open up mail, right? Who doesn't love happy mail? It's the best thing ever. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. And um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Uh, feel free to do all the youtube -y things, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next one. Thanks so much. Bye.